Hey, Chicago members, it's me, Monkey Checking here, and uh, the topic of today's video is Fallout 4. And with that, let's go and begin. Okay, guys, we got a lot of really cool information about Fallout 4 coming out. One of the first things that I wanted to talk about was about a post that they made that they were talking about how they're planning to support Fallout 4 after its launch. And uh, one of the things that they first said, they were talking about how they were planning to support the game. And they were saying that they're planning to do regular free updates, you know, like most games. And uh, they were saying that they are planning to or are willing to add features into the game, much like what they did with Skyrim for free. Um, some of the features they added, I think, were, like, um, mounted combat, legendary mode, I know they added, like, kill cams, and they also, like, improved the graphics along the way, and, uh, they did a few other things that I can't really think of off the top of my head, but, yeah, they said those will just be included in the updates and whatnot if they ever come to think of anything, because they're not really sure what else they want to add to the game right now, but that's pretty freaking cool. They also said early next year they are planning to relieve a dev kit, or, um, like a, a modding dev kit in a way. They did say it's the same thing they use, so that's gonna be pretty cool, so expect, you know, early within the next year, or... Yeah, early within the next year, we're going to get some really cool mods for Fallout 4. And not only am I excited just for the game, but the crazy mods are going to be coming out for this game too. It's going to be so amazing. I'm really excited for it. They also did say that the the dev kit or the modding kit, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I say dev kit because they say it's the same thing they use. So, whatever. <laughs> I just, mod kit, dev kit, all that same stuff. Uh, they did say that it was going to be coming to Xbox and then PlayStation 4, so that's pretty cool. I guess they'll be in part in the modding community, which I think is really good because Fallout 4 and, and like any of the Bethesda games like Skyrim and stuff, they're always more than just the storyline and whatnot. There's also the crazy mods that are in there. A lot of the times I find that they improve them, whether it's just, uh, well, they improve upon the game, whether it's just like adding weapons or adding like another storyline or, you know, just like tweaking some things. Like for me, I loved like better grass, better blood and stuff, just to like really kind of spice it up and make it look um better and whatnot because i don't know i just i always like to add upon the game and it's cool that you know the console brethren that are that are there were also experiencing because i started playing fallout and stuff like originally on the consoles and it was one of the main reasons why i switched over to pc was because of all the crazy mods that were on some of my favorite rpgs but it's cool that they'll be able to experience that too i think that's pretty freaking awesome um another thing that they did mention is that uh there is going to be a season pass they say it's going to be for 30 bucks um, right now, they don't really know when um, they'll really be releasing everything. They said that it'll just be early next year. They also said that they don't know what they'll be releasing. They haven't really thought of it because anything, once again, anything they thought of adding, they've already added it to the game. They said that they are planning to do it, once again, based on their previous games. So they estimate that it'll be worth somewhere around 40 bucks. But, you know, later down the road, like if it's a uh, year later or something, like, oh, let's add this piece of DLC. They say no matter what, you'll get all the DLC that's coming to it. And I really like that, that they said all the DLC. Because I remember when, like, the first season, well, one of the season pass came out from, like, COD, and then this is when they really started adding in all those crazy microtransactions with the camos and all this stuff. You know, a lot of people felt, you know, almost betrayed because they said, no, we just promised you the map pack DLC. We didn't promise you, you know, all the other little DLC. But here's Bethesda saying, you know, we promise you all the DLC that would come out from this game just for the 30 bucks. We don't know what it will be, but it's going to be freaking awesome. So I think that's pretty cool. I really like that. Ah, just... Everything I read, I'm always getting more and more excited for Fallout 4. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much everything that was in the blog post. Um, they did recently, just the other day, release a video where they were just talking about their special. If you guys remember before, um, I said that they were going to be releasing in the near future videos about every single special. If you guys know what that is, that's like the strength, perception, agility, luck, all those things. And um, I know I didn't spell it perfect, <laughs> special, but I'm, I'm just doing things. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so the strength video came out. And um, it didn't really say anything much more than we didn't already know. They did say that it was, like, tied to, like, building and stuff. Um, they said, you know, it deals with melee, it deals with this and that. It was nothing really mind-blowing. I even, like, slowed it down to, like, pause to see what things were there. But there was nothing really um, hidden within the video. It was all pretty self-explanatory. So if you guys want to check it out, link down below, all that kind of good stuff. Once again, also link to the blog post down below. So if you guys want to read that for yourself, you guys can. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the follow-up news we got right now. It's, uh, it's making me pretty excited to play the game. But, yeah, I'm Monkey Chicken. So, I really got. Peace.